Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specials from Subaru Prince George here. This is our 2022 Subaru Crosstrack Limited. So this is the fully loaded Crosstrack in Subaru Canada's lineup. It's in the cool gray khaki. It's the number one selling color for the Crosstrack. How can you tell it's a Limited? Well, right off the bat, you have those R-spoke wheels. They look like capital R's to me. They're 18 inch. That's one of the ways. You do have LED steering responsive headlights with that LED surround there. Very sharp looking. You get the LED fog lights. These headlights are amazing at night. Now the Limited has a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine producing 182 horsepower. So you're roughly 30% more horsepower than the two liter that you find in the convenience touring and the sport cross treks. The outdoor and the Limited both get the 2.5. You end up with the chrome handles, front and rear doors. And at the back here, we do have the backup sensors in the rear bumper. They'll actually apply the brakes if it thinks you're gonna hit something in reverse between speeds of one and 15 kilometers an hour. Best thing ever in parking lots. Now in the back of the cross truck, there's far more room than people expect. Good amount of storage. People don't expect there to be this. There's lots of room for luggage, sports equipment, hockey gear, what have you. We have a nice privacy cover, hides everything from the top of the seats down. Keeps things out of sight, out of mind. Got grocery bag hooks there and there. And you can also hook a cargo net. Subaru offers an accessory cargo net that you can attach to those four hooks. This is easy to remove. It's just telescopic. I just pull it over and it's telescopes over there, easy to remove. And if you need to fold the seats down for more room, you just lift and push. And if that passenger seat wasn't as reclined, it would go down all the way. Let's try this side. There we go. You've got the roof rails that you can attach crossbars to should you need to put a rooftop carrier, a Thule, a Yakima, some sort of skybox carrier up there. In the second row with the seats folded in their normal position, there's great room. Taller people fit without issue. I'm a taller person, bigger guy. I fit in here comfortably. With the cool gray khaki exterior, you get the gray and black leather two-tone. and. It's kind of hard to see, but in the perforations, there's actually orange. They have the inside of the material is orange. There we go. And that matches the color contrast stitching that you get with them. All of the cross tracks get orange contrast stitching with the exception of the outdoor, which is goldy yellow, and the convenience doesn't get any contrast stitching. But this is the only color in the lineup that gets that lighter two-tone. We get the tilt and slide sunroof right now. It's slid all the way back. Got a little wind deflector there. Helps keep road noise down. It is a push button start. So you get the proximity key and you can lock the doors by pressing on those lines. Won't work right now because it's running. That gray black theme continues. More orange contrast stitching. Power windows, locks, mirrors, as you would expect. And we do have a Harman Kardon audio system, phenomenal audio system. We do have a power driver seat, which is of course that same color as the rear seats. We also get those aluminum pedals with the rubber nubs. So lots of people are concerned about them being slippery. I can't say I've ever experienced that. I've never had someone come back and tell me that they've experienced that either. So, granted that's a relatively small sample size, but it seems to be correct. Bunch of buttons by the driver's left knee Top left, SRH, that's the steering responsive headlights. If you don't like them, you can turn them off. Scroll wheel for the brightness of the gauges. Traction control, auto start stop, and blind spot detection. So the blind spot detection is this small screen on either side mirror and it illuminates like so when someone's in your blind spot on the corresponding side. They do also turn on when you turn on the vehicle to let you know the system's active. Steering wheel looks rather busy initially. Left hand side has your Bluetooth and audio controls. You can make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and the music. Below those, we have these arrows here that will change the small center display. Gives you a bunch of different information depending what you want to look at. I personally like the digital speedometer. Most people like the digital speedometer. Easier to look at, it's instantaneous. There's no gauging wear along the analog speedometer you're at. Right hand side has our adaptive cruise, our lane centering, and increase or decrease of the follow distance. And we've got 
intelligent and sport driving modes. Intelligent is what it defaults to automatically. Sport, more spirited driving. You can see it goes into sport mode there. Intelligent, sport. It makes a pretty big difference. Below that, we have our heated steering wheel, which only heats between the seam, or not between the seams, only outside the seams, kind of where you're supposed to keep your hands. It makes a pretty big difference. It's great for the winters here. This little information screen up top, we can change with the info button on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. Every time you press, it gives you a different screen, gives you a bunch of different info. Navigation destinations, what you're listening to, fuel economy, date, time, what safety tech is active, all the important stuff. It's also where our climate control displays. And the Limited is the only trim level that gets, that gets the dual cl zone climate control. So you and your passenger can have two separate temperatures, ranges from 18 up to 32. Freezing to tropical, I'm obviously gonna put it back down to low because it's hot out there, you can see that. Below that, we have our eight inch radio display. This is also the only trim level, the Limited, where you get navigation built in no subscription it's powered by TomTom. Tom. you get one free update within free the first three years of ownership but there's no obligation to pay to get it to work when you put it in reverse backup camera pops up shows you the top of the bumper there so you have something to relate to rear assist braking's on parking sensors are on and when you turn the wheel those orange lines move show you where you're going to end up if the wheels stay turned that way home button is physical or you have the one up there you've got access to the my subaru app apple carplay android auto if you plug in we do have a cd player still which is not something that a lot of companies can brag about still covered in the plastic my detailers like to leave it so that the new owners can peel it off no chance of the screens getting scratched below that we have our climate controls driver side temp passenger side temp fan strength synced between the driver and passenger side temps. AC's on, turn it on max AC, which automatically turns the fan all the way up, which I'm gonna turn down. We're recirculating the air inside to keep it cold. In the little cubby there, we have a little illumination light. We've got two USB ports, an aux cord, and a 12 volt outlet for any charging needs. This is rubberized, so you can put your device there and it's less likely to slide around. Automatic transmission with the ability to go into manual mode and you have the paddles. You can see it's a second gear in there, down to first. You have the option to select your own gears if you want. We've got heated seats, high and low for both the driver and passenger. X mode, which is like four by four low in a pickup, takes you to the off-road mode screen there. Only works up to 40K an hour. After that, it defaults to regular all-wheel drive. You don't wreck anything. It's really easy to use. Um, you can't you can't wreck it no one can press the button and have it activate as you're driving down the highway at 100 kilometers an hour really really easy up top we have sos and concierge slash roadside assistance that's part of the three-year trial of the connected services you get with most new subarus we have our sunroof controls tilt and slide map lights automatic emergency braking and lane sway both of those and the adaptive cruise, the lane centering. Those are from the two color stereo eyesight cameras that Subaru has, that eyesight safety system. It's it's amazing, they win awards for it every year. I've had many, many people tell me that it stopped them from hitting pedestrians, vehicles, and in some cases, even animals. So that is a very brief overview of the 2023 Subaru Crosstrek Limited with eyesight, with the 2.5 liter. I probably confused you guys. I probably said 2022 at the beginning of the video. It is a 23. Uh, no differences between the 22 and 23 models other than the year. So if you have any questions about this vehicle or any vehicle in the Subaru lineup for that matter, or any of the features or functions, please let me know, reach out. I am always looking for more video content to make for you guys. Talk to you soon.